Hello everyone. Today, we're going to learn how to install Poplar. Poplar is a powerful library. It lets you work with PDF documents. This is useful for many things. Think about extracting text or converting PDFs to images. Let's get started. First, let's talk about what Poplar is. It's essentially a collection of tools. These tools help manipulate PDF files. Many software programs rely on Poplar. This is for displaying and processing PDFs. Installing Poplar can seem tricky at first. But don't worry. I'll guide you through it step by step. We'll cover different operating systems. This includes Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. For Windows, the easiest way is using a package manager. Chocolatey is a great option. Open your command prompt as an administrator. Then, type Choco install Poplar. Press Enter. Chocolatey will download and install Poplar. Make sure Chocolatey is installed first. If not, search Install Chocolatey online for instructions. Now, let's look at Mac OS. Homebrew is the recommended package manager. If you don't have Homebrew, install it first. The command is slash bin slash bash seed dollar curl fssl https colon slash slash or a w dot github user content dot com slash homebrew slash install slash head slash install dot sh. Once homebrew is installed, open your terminal. Type brew install poplar. Press enter. Homebrew will handle the installation. Linux users have several options. It depends on your specific distribution. For Ubuntu or Debian, use Apartment Open Your Terminal. Type sudo apt update. Then, type sudo apt install poplar utils. Enter your password when prompted. For Fedora or CentOS, use DNF or yum. The command might be sudo dnf install poplar utils or sudo yum install poplar utils. Adjust the command as needed. After installation, verify it. Open your command prompt or terminal. Type finfo v. This shows the poplar version. If you see the version number, it's successfully installed. Sometimes, you need to add poplar to your system's path. This allows you to run poplar tools from anywhere. On Windows, search environment variables. Edit the system environment variables. Add the poplar bin folder to the path variable. On Mac OS and Linux, this is usually done automatically. But you might need to update your shell's configuration file. This depends on your shell. Now you have poplar installed. You can use its tools. Extract text with ptotext. Convert PDF to images with images. Get PDF information with Finfo. There are many other useful commands to explore. Each command has its own set of options. Read the documentation for more details. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. Your support helps me create more content like this. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or suggest future tutorial topics.